Okay, great job today, everybody jamming. This is for Supriya, and we talked about how, you know, chords come together, right? And we know that if we play an A right there, and then if we add a C like that, and then even an E, that creates what we call an A minor chord, which is what you were playing for most of the jam today. Now, if that feels too low, you can always move it up here, right? We can always kind of add that flavor in there and uh, even go higher. Right, so just as long as you're starting on A, then you could even do an E here if you wanted to, and then even do a C up here. Bit of a different sound, right, than doing it right next to it. A, C, E, but then A, C way up here, and then E here. So those are just, you know, ideas, things you can do. And, and the thing that I really like that you were doing a lot is you were doing an A, and then you were doing like a high C above it. Yeah, just like that. <clears throat> when we were doing the We Will Rock You, right? So that's definitely something uh, that's important to know. And then, and then let's talk a little bit about, you know, like this, this could also be a, a little bit for, uh, for the, uh, the drummers as well, you know, getting rhythms down, right? So what we like to think of is we think of fruit, like plum, apple, strawberry, watermelon. So we'd go like this, we would hit, and I'm gonna hit A and C here. We go plum, 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 plum. Apple, 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 strawberry, strawberry, supria, supria. And then the last one is watermelon, 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 strawberry, strawberry, supria, supria, Dinesh, Dinesh, Dinesh. And then me, Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean. So it's all about the amount of syllables in each one, right? And if you can say those words, they, it'll come out that way in the rhythm. So we'll keep working on stuff like that to make sure that that uh, comes down to you. And I just would say great job on the, on the uh, eggs in the, uh, you know, staying within the lines there. And it was kind of fun to, uh, to, to compose some pieces there and uh, see how challenging we could make it. But you could see how, you know, if you throw like seven and six and five into stuff, Boy, it's really tough, right? <clears throat> so one thing that we usually do is we like to count up to eight. So if I were doing, let's say I was doing the, the one progression where we kind of went up this way instead. So we went like this, right? Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if you do another two, three, four, that's kind of even, right? Four of those, four of those. So there's like really four of those, right? Here's the first one, second one, and then the third one, and then we repeat that third one, right? And that takes us up to, to the point where we're going one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, where there's four of them all together, right? And then if we only did three of them, then you're doing something called six, four time, which would be one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and one, second one, and then you go right to the E minor back to C again. So it's like sections of four in each one, right? First one, two, three, four, second, two, three, four, third, two, three, and if we counted it properly, one and two and three and four and five and six and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well, there you go. Great job.